All right. Hello, hello. Hopefully everybody can hear me. My name is Becky Sanga, and I'd like to welcome you to a, another episode of the Video Plus Hangouts. These are monthly hangouts that I do, uh, where I answer all questions about video marketing, as well as online marketing strategies, techniques, tools, and tips. So today, our topic is how to host a successful Google Hangout on air. And no matter where you're watching this from, whether you're over on Google+, or you're on my website, or you're on Facebook, I am broadcasting live using the Google Hangouts on air tool. And I'm going to tell you more <coughs> about how you can do that as well. I'm already losing my voice. This isn't a good sign. Hold on one minute. I'm going to take a drink. All right, all better now. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and put my slides up. I will come back on um, intermittently uh, during the Hangout, but uh, you'll probably see my slides primarily until we get more to the question and answer uh, point. So let me go ahead and put those up. Okay, so now you should all be seeing my slides, which the title slide is up first. Now, one thing I want to mention is if you have questions anytime during this Hangout and training session, I'd be happy to answer them. I may answer them as they come up, or I may uh, wait until the end of the session, so stick around, and, but I will answer your questions. Now, depending on where you're at, uh, there's different ways for you to ask questions. So if you're over on Facebook, if you scroll down to the bottom page, you'll see a little comment box down there. Uh, if you're on Google+, Plus, you will see where you can answer your questions as well um, over on the event page. And if you are on my website, if you go right underneath the video player, you will see a question and answer box there. Now, in that question and answer box, you won't see other people's questions, but I will see them uh, in my control room, and I will go ahead and answer them. All right, so I think that takes care of all the little housekeeping, and so let's get started. How do we host a successful Google Hangout on air? Well, before we get into the exact how-tos, let's talk about, uh, you know, why and what. What is a Google Hangout on air? Well, Google Hangouts on air are live streaming broadcasts or video conferences, if you will. Now, these scheduled broadcasts are available live in HD on Google+, YouTube, uh, your website, and even on Facebook during the program, which is what I'm doing today. Now, I don't always, <coughs> excuse me, I don't always host them live on all of those places, but uh, for the purposes of demonstration today, I wanted to show that you could. And a lot of people have a lot of connections over on Facebook, and they're wanting to include their Facebook friends on their Google Hangouts, and now uh, we have the opportunity to do that as well, and I will be telling you more about how you can do that as we go. You can also do a Google Hangout uh, which is different than a Google Hangout on air. So what I'm doing is a Google Hangout on air. It's public. It's broadcasting live. But you can also do Google Hangouts, which are private. And I'll tell you a little bit more about how you can use that and actually how you can use them together as we get going. So why use Google Hangouts? Well, Google Hangouts on air are a tool is a tool that will allow you to take better control of your online visibility, meaning that you no longer have to be at the mercy of the times that you're able to be present and online posting content either on your website or your blog or your social media networks. You can use Google Hangouts on air to not only do your live broadcasts but to record videos that will be um, available on your YouTube channel and you can embed them on your website and so they can can continue creating visibility and also helping to drive traffic to your website long after you actually host the live broadcast. So let's get into a little bit about the goals for internet marketing and social media. Of course when you're out networking on social media um, and the internet what you want to do is try to get people back to your website. And then, of course, from your website, you want to convert them into just visitors from your website to actually leads and eventually customers. You, um, I, I wanted to share with you an interesting tidbit. 
At the end of 2013, I surveyed my community, many of you probably responded, and I asked them various questions about online marketing and what I could do to better help them. And an interesting thing happened, and that's that 90% of those who responded to the survey reported that getting more website traffic was the number one top priority for 2014. Now this is what online visibility can do for you. It can increase your website traffic. So when you're doing a live webcast, a live broadcast using Google Hangouts on Airtool, not only can you be driving people back to your website during the, the webcast, um, but you, it can also, again, these videos are being recorded on YouTube as you're doing the live broadcast and they can continue bringing visibility to you and helping you drive traffic to your website. Now video on your website uh, makes it 53 times more likely to be found on the first page of Google search. And it's noted as the best SEO tool around. It also ensures that visitors spend a longer time on your website. This helps them to engage with your brand more. It makes them more likely uh, to become, you know, to move from visitors to actually customers. So this is a really good thing to have video on your website. And again, by using Google Hangouts on Air, not only do you become visible to your target market on Google+, on YouTube, on your website, and on Facebook during the live broadcast, but each time you host one, you are adding to your YouTube library of videos automatically. These videos can then live on your YouTube channel and they can continue to send traffic to your website. They can also be shared across your social media platforms and you can actually do that with just one click. And I included a slide here where you can see this is a YouTube video. So this was actually a hangout that, you know, that I did live. It recorded on my YouTube channel. It now lives there and uh, with just a click of a button can be shared on any social media site at any at any time. So you see down there at the bottom all the different social media sites that you're able to, you know, just click that button and automatically share it. And not only can you do that, but people who are watching this on YouTube can do that too if they find it valuable. And um, that's a, call, a great call to action to put in your videos is, you know, to ask people to share it. And I'm going to go ahead and ask you to share it too. So um, if you get a chance, hit up my YouTube channel, share some videos over there. Okay. Let's move on. Again, they can be embedded on your website and blog as well. Now, I am actually hosting this live on my website right now, but after I'm finished, then I can actually take the YouTube video and I can put it as a blog post, describe a little bit about what happened in this Hangout, and then, boom, I not only have a blog post, but I have something that people can find on my website, and, of course, during uh, the Hangout training, I can mention my web website address um, often and I can also mention my products and my services which will help people be more likely to convert into uh, from site visitors into customers. So videos not only help you to create visibility, they are actually relationship building blocks between you and your prospects, leads, and customers. Okay, when you create videos and you put them online, you're helping the people who are finding you get answers to their questions. That's how people find you. If you think about yourself, when you go online and you do a search, you're looking for answers to your questions. And when you have videos on your website or on your YouTube channel, you are providing the people who you want to connect with answers to their questions. You're also establishing yourself as the expert. Okay, only about half of all business owners that have uh, that are online are using video. So you still have a lot of opportunity to use video and to you know really place yourself head and shoulders above your competition. You can also set yourself apart as a leader among leaders. What does this mean exactly? Well, one of the great things to do with a Google Hangout on air 
is to actually host a panel discussion. Now, many of the times on my video plus Hangouts, I bring in guests. And it's great because I can actually have, you know, many guests. You can have up to nine other people besides yourself on your Google Hangout, so 10 people total, and you can run a panel discussion. And when you do this and you're the host, you're really setting yourself apart as a leader among the leaders that you've invited to be on your expert panel. Another thing that you're doing with your videos is you're inspiring people to change their lives. It doesn't matter what your videos are about, what your hangouts are about. It doesn't matter if you're an insurance salesman or you specialize in real estate or you're an internet marketer or you're a coach or a business consultant. Whatever it is, whatever your topic is that you're talking about during and discussing during your Hangouts on Air and your videos that are being created from your Hangouts on Air are helping people. If you sell products, your products are helping people. And so these videos are really inspiring people to change their lives. Now, by not having online videos, you're not only doing a disservice to yourself and your business because you don't have these, these tools that are basically clones of yourself online that can help to promote your expertise and your products and your services when you can't be there to do it yourself. You're also not meeting the needs of your prospects and customers who are looking for video answers to their questions. I want you to consider these facts. YouTube is the second most used search engine on the planet. Okay, so people are actually going to YouTube and trying to find answers to their questions. Now the only way you can be on YouTube is if you have videos. So it's very important for you, if you're a business owner especially, to be f able to be found on YouTube. Another interesting fact, videos increase our understanding of a product or service by 74%. And this helps with the conversion. When I talked about videos help you convert site visitors into leads and eventually paying customers, this is why. Because videos help to increase our understanding of a product or service by 74%. Now currently over 50% of internet users are watching videos at any given time. And it's predicted that by the end of 2015 this number will be over 90%. So if 90% of everybody who's online a year from now is watching video and that's what they're interested in, you have to ask yourself, are you going to have what your target market is interested in finding on your website or your YouTube channel or your social media sites? Are you going to have those videos available for them to watch and be providing the answers to the questions that they have. Okay, this is really the social proof that people are looking for video answers and solutions to their problems and questions. Now, only second to Google searches, people are turning to YouTube to find business products and services like yours. But again, unlike Google, you know, you can go to Google and you can search for something and you can find answers that aren't necessarily video specific. But on YouTube, you can't be found unless you have videos. So I just want to mention that again because it's a really important thing for you to understand that the second largest search engine in the world can only provide you as an answer to what people are searching for if you're on YouTube with videos. Now there are lots of different ways that you can create videos to market and promote yourself and your business. But one of the simplest and least time consuming and free way to do it is using Google Hangouts. Specifically Google Hangouts on air. Okay, because that's recording video at the same time. And let me tell you how good it feels once you've hosted your first Hangout. It's, it's truly an accomplishment. You not only helped all the people who were on the Hangout Live by answering their questions and responding to their comments and providing them with some information and education, this certainly does provide a rush, but just imagine all the people that you're going to be helping who will view this in the future on your YouTube channel or uh, when you share it on your social media sites or you post it on your website and blog. 
That, my friends, is a very exhilarating and fulfilling feeling for you to think about. So I just want to recap uh, what we've gone over so far. Um, and I kind of missed this slide. I'm going to get into the how-to of how we're going to, how you actually can start and host your own Google Hang um, on air successfully. But I did want to mention that I have a full training, hands-on complete training tool available, Google Hangouts on Express. And I'm going to talk more about that a little bit later, but I, I, I'll continue on for now. So to recap, Google Hangouts on Air can increase your online visibility, helping you drive a ton of quality referral traffic to your websites. It can be live broadcast on Google+, YouTube, your website, and on Facebook, all at the same time. Right now, I am broadcasting this live over on Google+, YouTube, my website, and on Facebook. And in fact, I'm going to take a minute and I'm going to check in. So if you're over on my website, go ahead and say, I'm here. And it looks like Michelle is on. She said, I'm here over on my website. Thank you, Michelle, for being on. And there's, I'm going to go over to the Hangout page. And... There's some people over there that are on too. I may have them right in the wrong window, of course. Hold on a second while I get over there. We've got eight viewers over there. Awesome. Cool. And I'm trying to... My <laughs> My website controls. The interesting thing when you host it on your website is you can get all the statistics too of how many people over there. It looks like we've got about 30 people over there. And I've got Matt and Patty and Rob who are checking in. Thank you very much. I'm going to refresh my window here. All right, great. And again, you can ask questions at any time and I will pull them out up. Uh, when I can and either answer them as I'm going or answer them at the end. So this is what it looks like uh, for th over on Facebook. So this is actually before I got started so you just see the player right there. But um, people over on Facebook are, are watching this right now too. So welcome all the people over on Facebook. And I'm going to check in over there. Let's see what's going on over there. All right. Cool. It's going. I can see it. So this is a few minutes behind over there. Okay. And I'm going to tell you about the, um, the plug-in here that I'm using to do it. And it's called 22 Social. Now, you have to have a Facebook page to use this plug-in. Um, because it's an application that you use on your Facebook page and you don't have the option to do this if you just have a personal profile. But if you have a Facebook page, you can use the application 22Social. It's free and then you can embed your Google Hangout on Air and it can be running over there, which mine is right now. So that's pretty cool. like that. Okay, let's move on. Again, the recorded Google Hangout is automatically posted to your YouTube channel and you can embed the YouTube video then onto your website. This is a blog post that I have inserted here on my um, slide. I just did a, a screen capture and you can see a YouTube video that's embedded in there. Again, one click of a button using any of those social media share buttons down at the bottom and you're able to have your videos shared. All right, so Let's talk a little bit about why Google Hangouts on Air work. Well, I already talked about the video component and video marketing and exactly what video is doing for people. Let me talk to you a little bit about some specific, uh, uh, more, I guess, oh, organic reasons of why it works. And It's really interesting because Google Hangouts on Air work because they help people like you relay information 
about a certain subject, it doesn't matter what your subject is, to their target market using a communication tool that provides a multi-sensory experience. Okay, it's, uh, it's uh, providing an audio experience, something they can hear, it's visual, and it's also an emotional experience. And because video uses motion and movement, um, that offers another de uh, depth to it that you can't get from any other communication tool. Now, I wrote this up here. People generally remember 10% of what they read, 20% of what they hear, 30% of what they see, and 50% of what they see and hear. And that's why video works so well, and that's why Google Hangouts works so well, is because it's both visual and auditory, um, and but also because it can provide an emotional and motion experience as well. Google Hangouts on Air also work because the Google Hangouts on Air tool is uh, provided by Google, which is the largest search engine in the world. And they are directly cross-connected to YouTube, the world's second largest and most popular search engine on the internet. And to run a Go uh, Hangout is to boost your Google Power rankings, especially if you've optimized and branded your YouTube channel. Because again, this is being recorded live on your YouTube channel as you're doing it, and then it can continue living there. Lastly, Google Hangouts on Air work because our motivation to buy comes as much from our connection and our relationship to the seller as it does from finding the solution, service, or product that will be the answer to our problem. I mean, how many of you, you go online, you're looking for an answer to your problem, you're trying to find a solution, there's, you know, a whole page full, of course, when you do a search, you get that whole first page, which is what most people look at, of people who are offering, offering the answer to your solution, but what happens with video is you offer them a, pers a way to personally connect with you in a way that they can't do with any other form of communication tool that's on the internet. Now there are thousands of people offering the exact same service or product that you do. I mean we can all spin it differently, we can have a product that has something new, um, but there's tons of people offering pretty much either the same service or the product that you have. And they can also be found on the internet, but there's only one you. And people can get to know that one you better through video than any other way. I like the saying uh, by Adam Urbanski, you can't reinvent ice cream, but you can come up with your own unique flavor. Okay, so let's get into this, how to host a successful Google Hangout on air. And first I'm going to give you kind of an overview. So I made this mind map. Of course, the first thing you have to do is you have to choose your event topic. Now this should be fairly easy to do, so I won't go too much into that. But if you need help, give me a, you know, a shout out wherever you're at, whether you're on Facebook or Google, or if you're on my website, if you're on part of my community, give me an email and I can help you with that. Okay, the second thing you're going to do is you want to actually start a Google Hangout on Air event. Now you will notice here on this um, slide, and I'm going to use my pointer to kind of point this out, that there's start Google Hangout on Air here in step two. Then in, it's start Google Hangout on Air again. Okay, and then in step six you have start broadcast. So why are there three different places to start a Google Hangout on Air? That's an interesting question that I'm going to get into. Um, and but I will tell you that what you're doing here is you're just starting a Google Hangout on Air event. That means you're scheduling it. You're not actually starting it. In this portion, you are actually not starting the live broadcast. You're setting it up. So this is where you'd log on 15 minutes before. You'd make every, sure that everything is as you want it, um, but you still haven't hit the start uh, button, basically. Okay, and this is actually where you start. Okay, so going back up here, you start your live event. Then you edit the event. You can add in a channel uh, or a trailer for your event, and you can add in some graphics and some more information. And I'm going to show you that in a minute. Again, uh, 15 minutes before you start the Google Hangout area, you want to go in and check your settings and, and create some things that I'll talk to you about in a minute. 
Um, you'll then get the embed links and you'll embed that video onto your website and onto Facebook so that it can be happening over there. And that, after you do that, is actually when you would start the broadcast, and this is when you start it live. Now, there's one more step that I think is necessary for you to have a truly successful Google Hangout on air because, it, again, it's not only about the live broadcast, it's about the replay recording that can continue to work for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for as long as you keep it on YouTube and host it on your website. And so this step here is to go back to your YouTube channel where the video is and to make sure you optimize that. And I'll talk to you a little bit more about what that means and how to do it in a few minutes. So let's move on. Okay, so let's get started. How do you start a Google Hangout on Air event? Now again, that first start when you start your Google Hangout on Air is really to start the event. So once you log into Google+, Plus, you will go to the menu which you can see here. You'll click on it and you'll get this drop down of things. You go to Hangouts. There's a little green comment thing with some quotation marks in it, Hangouts. So you click on that and then you come here. Make sure that up at the top you'll see Home, Hangouts on Air, Video Hangouts. Click the Hangout on Air link and then you'll see um, all the live Hangouts on Air that are happening now. Okay, this is how people can also find you besides you posting and inviting people, but there is, if you scroll down, you would see all of the videos that are happening right now live. But what we want to do is actually start our Hangout on Air event. So now when you click this button, again, it's not like you're all of a sudden going to be live. Um, I wish they'd actually change this to say something like start a Hangout on Air event um, because it is a little bit misleading and makes you feel like, oh my gosh, if I click that button, am I on? Um, no, you're not. It's just starting the event. And I'll show you. So this is what it looks like when you click on that. Okay, so you have a place to put your title, uh, put to put your description, and again, you know, use your keywords because this is information that is findable by the search engines. And so when you use your keywords, it helps uh, your events and your videos be found better. Now you can actually select to start it right now. And then if you went down here and you click share, it would actually start your um, your green room or the 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 you would start your Google Hangout, but you wouldn't actually be broadcasting. There's one more button you gotta push in there. So you could do a start now, but most of the time you're gonna do later. You can put your event date, you can put the start time, and you can put how long it's going to be. Now this really is just to set the date and time for the countdown. So when people come to your event, um, they will see you know, how many days, hours, and minutes until your event starts. You could actually start at any time before or any time after, and the duration can be as long as up to eight hours. So if you're hosting a panel of experts, and maybe each of them, you have eight people on your panel, and each of them are going to take an hour and present. You could actually do that in one Google Hangout in there. You wouldn't have to stop and start it and have several different Hangouts. You could have one Google Hangout on air live broadcast that runs for eight hours. Okay, now uh, the one thing I wanted to point out is here where it says audience. Um, this is really important for you to put right here when you're creating the event, first always public. Okay, you want your Google Hangout on air to be public so that you can get as many people watching as possible. That's what's going to give you visibility and eventually that visibility is going to be what helps people find you online on your website and get into your products and services, right? So make sure that you have public selected there. Also, um, if you're active over on Google+, you will know that you, um, when you make friends over there, you're putting them in circles. So add your circles here. And then another thing that you want to do is add any communities that you belong to over on Google+. Um, the reason why you want to do this when you're actually creating the event and not later is because this will put, if you put your community in here, then over on that community page under events, your event will be automatically listed there without you even having to post it just by including it here. So those are the three things that I would say are must-have when you put your audience here. You can actually add more people later and I'll show you where to do that, but must-haves for when you first set up this Hangout on Air event is to have public, to um, you know, include your circles that you have, 
and then your communities. Those two for certain, public and your communities, because this will automatically put it in your communities events. And because, of course, having your uh, Google Hangout be public is what's going to help drive traffic and give you visibility online. What's next? Okay, so once you create your event, you will notice that before we were up, if you look back at the slide, we were in Hangouts. Once you create your event, now you'll see it under Events. And this just automatically goes here to your event page um, after you hit that Share button and you've created your event. Okay, now yours will look a lot different because unless you, you know, well, you won't have any channel art or, or any um, artwork yet for your theme here and you, pr you won't have your video trailer loaded up here yet so this is usually like just some color um, and, and but you'll see your title here so what you want to do is go in and edit your event okay once you click that button then you will actually be able to upload some graphics here and you can also um, you know, change your description and some things like that. So let me show you that. So when you click that edit event, this is what you get. And if you look here, it says change theme. So when you click on that, now there's actually some themes that Google provides for you. They're just, you know, some generic themes that they provide for you. And you could use those. But I would suggest that you actually make your own. Okay, and have something custom made. Now, if you're not a graphics person, which most of us aren't, and that's totally fine, there's easy, easy ways for to, for you to get these created. Um, and you know, the best I think, or one of the easiest and cheapest, is to just go on Fiverr. You can pay somebody five bucks, and they will create you a customized theme. Okay, again, you can change your title if you've decided you want to call it different. You can edit your description. You can even edit your time and duration, all that kind of stuff. Okay? Once you've done all that, then you'll just hit save. All right, so we've now gone through, you've chosen your event topic, you've logged in, you started your Google Hangouts on Air event, you've edited the event, you've uploaded your graphics, um, hopefully a video trailer. If you don't have a video trailer, let me go back and show you. So this is where you can load your video trailer up. Um, my, I already have one up here so it says delete trailer but if you don't have one then there'll be a button that, allow, that you push here and it will allow you to up to put one in. And um, an easy thing to do is just use your smartphone or actually you could use Google Hangout on air and just record a short message, just a quick one. And record a, set, a short message that introduces people to your topic, invites them to participate and you know identifies the benefits for what they're going to get out of um, the Hangout. Okay, so you can just upload that there and that's a really good thing to have. Now for some reason you don't want to, that seems like too much work or you don't want to get into that at first, maybe you'll do it on later Hangouts, that's fine. Just go ahead and put an image here. Um, they need to be 1280 by 720 and you can go ahead and put an image there instead of a video. So, and you, again, this button would enable you to be able to do that. Okay, so now let's talk about actually getting into it and starting your Google Hangout on air. How do you start it? Well, you go back to your event page. So if, you know, if this is a few days later, you created this event maybe 10 days ahead of time so you could start sharing it and getting people to, sh to post it and, and plus one it and all that kind of stuff. Um, and, and you were promoting it, but then maybe, you know, three, ten days down the line you actually want to go start it, then you log back into Google+, Plus, you go to your events menu here, and find your event, and then you would go down and click Start. And once you do, this is what it looks like. Okay? That's not me now, that was me the other night. <laughs> okay? Now again, you are still not live. If you'll notice up here in the right hand corner it says off air. Okay? Down here it says start broadcast off air. 
Okay, so you can consider this kind of like a green room. Many of you may know what the term green room is. It comes from, you know, the TV uh, broadcasting days when people would go to be on, on a live broadcast. They would put them in a green room where they could kind of prep and be ready, and then they would bring them out for their live broadcast. Okay, well, this is kind of like the green room for your live broadcast, and in it you are able to do a few different things. Now, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what each of those things are as we go through here. Um, but one of the things you'll want to note is that right here, down at the very bottom, it's hard to see here because it's small, but it says links. If you click on that, this box opens up and it gives you three different links. An event page link, so if you're inviting people maybe over on LinkedIn or on Facebook, or wherever, you know, on Twitter, wherever you are, you could actually use this link right here to invite people and that's where they could go to catch the event. And they don't have to have a Google Plus account to watch the event using that link. Okay? So you could use that. Then this is your YouTube page link. This is where they can watch it on YouTube. So you could use that too if you wanted to. Share that. And this is your video embed code. Now this is really important code if you're hosting this over on your website or over on Facebook because this is what's necessary for it to point them to the Google Hangouts. Okay, so you copy and paste that code and then you'd go paste it in uh, the, a plugin which you'd have to use over on your website for the live broadcast and the plugin over on Facebook, on your Facebook page 22 social plugin that I talked about before and you would plug that in using you just copy paste that in I'm sorry paste the code in and then when you go live that will automatically be streaming in those places as well okay so you can do all this again before you start your broadcast you don't have to be on air to do all this so you could start this start doing this about 20 minutes ahead of time to give yourself you know plenty of time to set everything up on all the different places where you're broadcasting live and still come back here and start your broadcast with plenty of time uh, to feel comfortable and relaxed okay so those are important links for you now let's get into a little bit of the controls and how you can you know set this up to look a little bit uh, more professional alright so you'll if you scroll over on your Google Hangout screen to the left you'll see all of the different options that you have for helping you with your Google Hangout now let me tell you what some of those are let me I need to just go over here to help myself a little bit I've got some notes. Okay, so the first box up here is a chat feature. Okay, so you can click on that to do chat. Now the second one down is probably the most important one that you'll use and that is screen share. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm sharing my screen with you um, so that I can share my PowerPoint slides. So when I click on that I can toggle between my live camera which would show me live and uh, my screen. Okay, you can also take pictures during your hangout. And you can use this tool, and there's some other tools down here. But this one is the one that I want to talk about because, besides the screen share feature, this is probably the second one that's used most. Uh, so if you click on that, there's a couple different things that you'll see over here. Um, and the first thing allows you to do what's called a lower third. Okay, now you can either use the standard lower third that Google Hangout provides and that you, know, you type in your name and then you can type in a tagline which you know is a lot of times people's website or, um, or or maybe a tagline or something that they want people to remember and then you would click on and then you would see whoops I don't think I, I didn't include a slide well you'll see it in a minute when I come back live I have my lower third on um, so in fact I'll just go I'll show you right now let's take a break from this and I will show you what it looks like when I toggle from my slides back to myself okay and there you can see my lower third alright so that's what it looks like so while I've toggled over why don't I go ahead and see if there are any questions um, again if you're over on Google Plus you can ask questions and it will come up hopefully in my window and I'm gonna go over to 
Okay, I see Mark is on and Debbie and Rob. Cool, thank you. Thank you guys for writing. I really like that. And I do have a question uh, that's come in as well. It is, do you have to have a Google, a Gmail account to do a Google Hangout on air? That's a good question. To host a Google Hangout on air, yes, you do have to have a Gmail account. Um, to watch it, you do not. So if you're inviting people to watch your Google Hangout on air and you're using those links that I showed you in that previous slide, then people can actually click on that and go ahead and watch um, your event, even if they don't have a Google account. But to host them, you do have to have a Google account. So that's a great question, and I appreciate uh, you sending that in, Matt. So um, if you see me switching around when I'm live, you're probably like, what the heck is she doing looking this way and that way? It's because I actually have uh, three screens, two computers and three different screens, so that I can monitor the questions over on my website, the questions on Facebook, um, and the questions on Google Plus. Okay, so you don't have to do this if you're hosting a Google Hangouts on air. You could take all of your questions from wherever you want. If you if this primarily is because you want to invite your Facebook friends and host a live discussion over on Facebook, then t let people know that that's where you're taking your questions. So if people are you know logging in over on Google Plus and watching it live, maybe they'll connect with you on Facebook. It might be a great way for you to build more likes and people seeing you over on Facebook. So if Facebook's an important tool for you and that's where your audience is, then by all means, you know, answer your questions over on Facebook. If Google Plus is where it's at for you, then answer your questions over on Google Plus. Um, I host a lot of these on my website, and so I am in my console over on my website, and I can monitor questions and comments over there too. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and switch back to my slides now and go back to the presentation. Um, that's the only question that I have right now. But again, feel free to ask questions at any point. Um, oh, one thing I did not check was over on Facebook. See if there's any questions. I don't see any questions. Let me refresh it. Okay, no questions over there either. Okay, so let me go back to my slide presentation. All right, so there you saw the lower third, and this is how you can create it. Now there's, um, you know, some other tools over here too that you can experiment with, um, and one of them is a comment tracker, so you can actually see what comments are and questions are going on as well. Um, again, in my complete training program, the Google Hangouts Express pro training program, all of this stuff is gone over in depth. Um, but I just want to go over the things that are really going to make the biggest difference for you to get started without boggling your mind with all of the different stuff that you can do um, on Google Hangouts on Air. But there's a lot of tools to really make this a professional exper experience uh, for you and for your viewers. Okay. I'm going to take a little drink. So this is what it looks like once you go live, okay? So you, again, back here, not live, okay? You can see off air here, off air here. Okay, now, <clears throat> where's that button? Here's the button. Here's the button that says start broadcast, okay? So once you click that, this is what it looks like once you're live, okay? You'll see a uh, orange, yellow, uh, box up in the right hand corner that says live and over here you'll see um, that you can actually stop the broadcast this is where you would stop it and here you see live with a little dot so now you know you're live okay and that's basically it as far as getting through the broadcast now again there's one more thing that I th really think is important for you to to make this Google Hangouts on air successful and that's to go back to your YouTube channel and to optimize that video so that it can continue working for you long after that live broadcast is over okay here is the complete mind map of everything that I just went over and for anybody who buys the Google Hangouts on air training uh, in the next few days, I 
will provide you with this mind map. I'll send it to you. It's my personal mind map that I use. Okay. So after get that system down, then you basically just wash, rinse, and repeat often. Now, once you commit to yourself that you want to start using Google Hangouts on Air to take your business to that next level, you will want to commit to doing them on a regular basis, especially if they are initially the only videos that you're using to market your business. Just doing one and having it on your YouTube channel won't do a heck of a lot for you. You need to continue building your audience, building your authority, and having many videos that you can deploy to drive traffic to your website. And to do that, you'll want to host Google Hangouts on there regularly. So I do mine um, monthly or sometimes twice a month, but always monthly. Um, a lot of people are doing them weekly, so it just depends on your schedule and what you want to do. But you know, one of the things I think is really cool is to just sit down when you first start thinking about it and think of at least 12 ideas, 12 topics that you can cover in a Google Hangout on there that pertain to you and your niche. And then commit to doing at least one a month. Um, once you do that, it will also make these steps that I just went through something you hardly even need to think about. Okay, so I'll initially send you this mind map and you'll probably use the mind map every time you start a Google Hangout on Air for your first few. But then each time you host a new one, you can just, again, wash, rinse, and repeat the process and you're going to know it like the back of your hand. It will be simple, be easy for you to log on, host your live broadcast, uh, optimize your YouTube video when you're done, and put those videos out there for people to, to watch and increase your visibility. Now, I have a couple of suggestions to get you into the flow of hosting Google Hangouts on Air and away from any excuses that might be keeping you from doing it. So first of all, if doing your first Google Hangout on Air seems daunting, which I know it can, it was for me, I put it off for a while, uh, then what you could do is you could, um, when you're requesting participation from your expert panelists, like we talked about before, Sometimes having expert panelists can really help the discussion. It can create really interesting content. And again, it sets you apart as a leader among leaders. But one of the things that you could do is to consider asking them to host the event instead of you. If they're already experienced and they're already hosting Google Hangouts on Air, which a lot of people are these days, then ask them if they would host the event. The advantages, it gets your feet wet with Google Hangouts on Air without you actually having to dive in. You can learn a lot from just watching them do the setup and then participating. There's less technical stuff for you to worry about your first couple of times out there, but you can be in it and see how it flows and how it works. And you can also take advantage of their audience. I mean, you know, when I first started doing these, I had, you know, sometimes I, I think there was a couple times I had zero people on them. Still do it because these are still recorded conversations that you can include in your arsenal of videos over on YouTube. You know, just because nobody shows up doesn't mean you shouldn't host your program. Go ahead and do it. It's great experience and it helps get you trained and, and start doing better and better and better. But if you want to take advantage of somebody else's audience, ask them to host it. If they've got a large audience, then you'll have more participation. If you do this and if you ask them, you know, to host your event and they say yes, then you're able to skip the rest of the steps. All you have to do is just show up, be your best you, and, and that's it. And afterward, you can even ask them if you could have a copy of the video that you can upload to your YouTube channel. This helps them and you because that now there's two opportunities for them to find you on, your, on their YouTube channel and on you, your YouTube channel. And then all you have to do is, is follow step seven to optimize your video. Now let me talk a little bit more about optimizing your video. To optimize your video, you need to make sure your description, your title is in there, your description has keywords, that you put the URL to your website at the beginning of your description. Again, you want to drive traffic to your website and you can only do this if you have your URL in there. And then you also want to, you know, add annotations to your videos. This can also be clickable links back to your website. This is another traffic driving feature of YouTube. Now, if you don't know what this means, you don't know what it's all about, go to my website, theonlinevideomarketer.com. Look on the blog. I've got the seven step process for optimizing your YouTube videos. I've got a video tutorial that shows you how to use annotations. Okay, all the stuff that you need is over there to optimize your videos. So make sure that you're doing that. 
Okay, kind of went over there. Okay. So another suggestion. Don't get caught up in creating your theme art. Now a lot of people are like, you know, theme art, and they immediately kind of shut down because they don't know Photoshop, they don't create graphics, and it just sounds like another thing that, you know, is going to be mind-boggling and time-taking. It doesn't need to be. Again, I mentioned this before, I do suggest that you have one, a custom theme made. You could have one theme like I do. I have I host my Video Plus Hangouts. So I had a custom theme made. And now I can put that up. All I have to do is just change the title each time I host a new one. So if you have a theme like that, if, if you're going to host a regularly scheduled Hangout, then you could have a theme made. And then all you have to do is just go in and change the title. And you can have it made, again, like I said, for five bucks over on Fiverr. Okay. Again, add a video trailer. Easy to make. Use your smartphone. Welcome people to the event. Tell them what to expect during the event, what the benefits they're going to get from the information that you depart. And then ask them to RSVP and say yes. Okay. One of the things that if they're if it's over on Google Plus and they're RSVPing and saying yes, this puts it into their calendar automatically for them into their Google Calendar. So that's a really cool thing. So ask them in your video in your video trailer, say, you know, please RSVP, click yes that you'll be attending. Okay. Now the other third suggestion I have is to consider the three main reasons why people put off launching a successful video marketing program. The first main reason is because they're afraid of how they will look or sound on camera. And I get this, you know, for years I used to always tell people, you know, I'd, I'd be shooting videos for businesses and we, you know, we'd need an extra, we'd need somebody to walk through the shot or we need to shoot over somebody's shoulder to make it look like they're having a conversation with a CEO or whatever. And they'd say, Becky, you want to just sit in on this? And I'd say, no. Because I am a video producer, I work behind the camera, not in front of the camera. So I totally get how you may feel if you're one of those people that you don't want to be in front of the camera and you don't like the way you look or sound on camera. But the bottom line is it's time for you to get out of your own way. And that's what I realized a couple of years ago is that I need to start creating my own videos. I was telling everybody else how great video was for helping them market their businesses online and yet I had none of my own. Nobody could get to know me personally through videos because I wasn't in any videos. So if this is how you feel, if you are experiencing this fear, you're keeping yourself from doing something that could make a huge difference for you and your business this year. And if you need one, on, one help to help you get over that and to have the mindset, a championship mindset that's going to help you move away from that and create these great videos, then just contact me. If you're over on Facebook, contact me through Facebook, private message me, or same with over on Google+. If you're on my website, it's because you're part of my community, so hit reply to any of my emails. I'm a real person. Contact me. I'd love to help you work through it. Okay? Second main hurdle that people have to get over is cost when they start th thinking about creating their videos. But I have just presented you a way to create great videos completely free using Google Hangouts on air. Okay, so this is not a barrier when it comes to using this tool, Google Hangouts on air, to create great video content for you. And the last perceived barrier is the techno techno technological challenge. But with the seven-step formula I just gave you, you have what you need to get started. Again, there's lots of tools in there that you could use, but just focus on the ones that are going to really help you. The screen sharing so that you can share your presentations if you have a PowerPoint presentation. And then the toolbox for putting up your lower third because this is going to help brand you. It's also going to help drive traffic to your websites if you put up your website address there. For people who want to really invest in a more in-depth training, training that will completely eliminate all of your tech challenges for you, you can participate in my Google Hangouts Express training program. And I have it for a super, super low price today for $17. Now I'm going to actually go over and share my other screen. Um, 
on my other computer because I want to tell you a little bit more about what's inside. And so let me get over there. Hold on just a minute. Again, if you have questions, go ahead and uh, post them wherever you're at, and I'll be getting to those in a little bit. Um, and then what I'm going to do is share with you my screen. Okay. So now you should be seeing my screen. And I'm over on my training page. You can find it at theonlinevideomarketer.com forward slash google dash hangouts dash air dash express. Okay, so that's the online video marketer dot com forward slash Google dash hangouts dash air dash express. Okay, now once you get there, you will actually end up up here, and there's a lot of information that you could read that really um, can tell you more about the program, but I want to just get into the specifics about it. It's 20 videos. And this is what you'll find in the videos. So videos one through four kind of lay out the foundation for how to set up your Google Hangouts and what you need to do to get started. Talks to you a little bit about your webcam and audio and things like that. These are easy, easy things. Nothing hard in these first videos one through four. Actually, there's nothing hard in any of them because they're so well explained by Jonathan who helped me create these videos that it just eliminates any challenges that you have. Okay, videos 5 through 13, call it the cockpit, taking control to create a dynamic experience. Okay, again, there's a lot of tools, there's things that can really create a professional experience and help to transform you into the expert that you are in front of your audience. And that's what videos 5 through 13 will help you do. Videos 14 through 20 really help you to take flight. They help you to be able to use Google Hangouts to make money. And that's something that I, I'm pretty sure that everybody who's in business wants to do is make money. <laughs> okay, so it's great. Again, um, all my products always come with my 30-day money-back guarantee. You want to try it out? Do it. Okay, it's only $17 until Sunday. I'm going to have this replay up. After Sunday, this page actually, poof, goes away. I have it on a timer. It just, it just automatically goes away. I do have a couple of bonuses. Again, I will send you that mind map that you saw on that previous slide. I will send you my entire mind map, not just the, the seven-step outline, but everything that's underneath that as well. And I'll also do a complimentary 30-minute one-to-one video marketing strategy session with you uh, if you'd like some help on some ideas about how you could use Google Hangouts to work into your online marketing strategy for this year. Okay, let's get back to the training now. So that's the way to get over, you know, that perceived technological challenge of using Google Hangouts on air. On air. Of course, there, you know, whenever you use a new technology, there's going to be things to learn, but everything that you need to learn is inside the training. Okay, let me get back to my presentation. All right, again, the training course is created to help you. It will help you to discover a system that you can use to create more videos. Uh, in the program, you can learn how to create interesting content. So there are some ideas for you to to help you know generate ideas for um, creating interesting content and working with other experts. There's everything that you need to know to to leverage all the controls and things so that you can have a professional experience, and you will learn you know some of the secrets for making money with Google Hangouts. Okay, enough about that. So, if you follow the steps that are laid out in the Google Hangouts Express training course, you will have the kind of free video creation system that you'll need as business owner because more and more people are relying on videos to get the information that they need. Okay, you'll be broadening your reach across multiple social media platforms and your website with a very attractive attention-grabbing tool, which is live video. 
you know, if you're over on Facebook and you've got live video going on, people are, are for, for one thing, because not very many people are doing it, they're like, wow, what's, go what's going on? She's on live video on Facebook. How is she doing that? That's an attention grabber right there. Not to mention whatever your topic is, which of course is going to be attention grabbing. Okay, and then you'll be able to better answer to the needs of your target market and help inspire them to change their lives with the services and products that you offer. Now, if you want to take advantage of the training program at that super low discount, then you can find it here um, at this address. So bit.ly forward slash GHOA dash express. That's a little bit shorter than uh, the one that I gave you before, but you can also find it on my website. Um, uh, this is actually just a shortened version that takes you right exactly to the page where we just were. So again, bit.ly forward slash g-h-o-a-dash-express. So g-h-o-a stands for Google Hangouts on Air dash express. Okay, and you can find that. And so I'm ready for some questions, and I see that some have come in. So I'm going to go ahead and take my, put my camera back up. Let me get over to all the different places where I'm looking at questions here. This is pretty cool. I like this. Okay, and I've got a couple questions on my website. And let me look at Facebook. Nothing over on Facebook, and I need to get to my, okay, so let me do this. Okay, I'm going to get back to me here. There I am, hello. Okay, so I've got a couple of questions. And, oops, I'm knocking over stuff. This has been really fun for me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I appreciate everybody who's on live. So I've got some questions from Patty and Rob and Dave. Okay, so Patty asks, do you need a plugin to host, uh, to host on your website? Okay, so the answer is yes. Um, to host live on your website, you'll need a plugin. There's a couple that I'd recommend. I use Webinar Ignition. It's a great little tool. Um, it hosts over on my website live. It also has a question and answer con console. Um, I can give out. Uh, uh, I, I can give freebies on there. Um, there's just all kinds of tools and things that make it really easy, and I can manage the questions over there. Um, I can also push out a message. In fact, let me show you. If you're over there, I'm going to pu push out a message right now. And if you don't see it, refresh your screen. Let me see if I see it. Yep, it's on. Okay, so um, you can see down below the video player that you can actually get you know, access directly by just pushing on that link for Google Hangouts Express. So that's pretty cool. Now, if you're not over there, you can't see it. But basically what it does is it just puts a button right underneath the video player that says, um, get the complete Google Hangouts Express 20 video training course, click below, and then right underneath is a green button that says order now. So that's a pretty cool feature. Um, you can also do, do some live chatting um, and some additional things. And it's a way for people to register. It actually creates a registration page for you if you want, so you can do some list building. Um, you know, a lot of people are hosting Google Hangouts on Air over on Google, but they're actually not getting those people to become part of their email list. Um, but this is a way for you to do it in your invitation. You can actually get people over on your website. They can sign up, and then you give them the link to your website broadcast as the link where they can join. Um, so that's just a good list building tool right there. Okay, so good question from Patty. Let me get back over to my questions, my other questions now. And I'm going to refresh my window. Okay. Sorry, it takes just a minute to do that. 
great, great, great. Okay, so now I have another question from Rob. How do these live broadcasts drive traffic to your website? Okay, again, um, one of the things that happens when you're doing a live broadcast is the people on it um, become part of a discussion through your question and answer um, features. Um, so that's a way to start building relationships. And once you start building relationships and people start viewing you as an expert, they'll oftentimes look you up. So that's one way. But as you can see right here, let's see, let me see, right, boop, right there, I have a link to my website. Now during the Google Hangouts on Air, you can have that up, you know, during the time when your camera is live. Also on the bottom of your slides, that's probably what I should have done too, is, is put a link to my website on the bottom of my slides so people can find you. So then if they're watching these recordings or during your live broadcast, they're more curious about you, they want to go to your website, it's a great traffic driving uh, tool. And, th and this is why. is because of the information that you depart, the relationships that you're starting to build, and that people become more curious about you as an expert and your service and products. And if you provide them with the information that they're looking for, right there, your website address, then it makes them really easy, real easy for them to find you. So that's a great question. That was from Rob. Okay, Dave asked a really great question. Dave asked, what if I don't have anything to offer during the Hangout or webinar? You don't always have to have something to offer. In fact, um, this is a, a kind of a rare occasion for this Google Hangout that I do. And it's only because I can't really provide all the information about everything that you can do during a Google Hangout on air in a 40-minute presentation. Um, and so I want to let you know that there's more training. However, I generally do these for about 30 minutes, a video plus hangout. I take one question that somebody has sent in to me or that's come up for one of my um, uh, clients or customers and I address that question then I have an open Q&A time. It's really more of a way for me to establish more of a relationship between people who are part of my community and and my community includes people who are on my email list, people who are um, connected to me through my various social media sites. Um, all of those people make up my community and you when you are hosting these Google Hangouts on air, even if you don't have something specifically that you're offering, you're not going to sell something like, I have this training program to sell, you are still setting yourself apart in your industry as somebody who is an expert, who has excellent information to provide, or maybe if you have a product, you're demonstrating a product and doing it in a way that nobody else can because there is only one you. So that's a really good question, and that was, again, from Dave. Okay, let me see if there's any more questions. I have to go refresh a couple of pages here. All right, I gotta look. If there's anything. Okay. I think we got them all over there, and let me just go look. Okay, it looks like we have covered all of the questions. So I appreciate uh, all of the people who ask questions, all of the people who are on the live broadcast over on my website, hello, all of the people who are on Google+, and all the people who are on Facebook. This was a great opportunity for me to actually try all three at the same time. It's pretty cool. I'm actually going to be helping somebody, uh, one of my clients, who's a Mary Kay rep and she is going to be doing a Mary Kay party and we're going to do a live Facebook Mary Kay party. I'm really excited to do that and to try it out and see how um, that helps her, sells her, sell her products. Um, so if you're on my email list and you want to find out how that goes, it's going to be happening in a couple of weeks. I will actually putting, be putting out some information and sharing with people how that works for her because this is really kind of something new and innovative that she's willing to try and I want to help her and I can't wait to share with you how it goes. So if you're interested in that, let me know. All right, I'm Becky Sanga. This has been another Video Plus Hangout where we discuss all things Video Plus online marketing strategy, techniques, and tools that can help you. Uh, I am thrilled to have had you with me today live. If you're watching the replay, 
Hello, glad you're on, and the links will still be good. Um, although the pricing will be different on the Google Hangouts training. This pricing today was specifically for my live participants, um, and if you're, unless you're watching the replay within the next couple of days. Again, that pricing that I gave out is only good until Sunday, April 27th. So I hope you have a marvelous day. It's Thursday today and a fabulous weekend. Let me know if I can help you. If you have any questions, I'm always happy to help. This is Becky Sanga, and I'm signing off.